opening. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I forgot to check that. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Fucking move. I thought there was blocks blocking the path. Oh, I can't go Oh, that thing is huge. It's, yeah, we've established we moved the camera with a. Max, are you seeing this? That's crazy shit. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. So I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I mean, most of it ain't too bad. She yeah. saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Seriously Plus, it's though, perfect for my I portfolio. One of you in a dark corner, and capture a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, <laughs> as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has blah, always been blah, a vital aspect of art blah, and photography care. for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first <laughs> self-portraits? I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about them in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Well, that sucked. Ah, oh, well. Yes, Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if 
you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is taking a photo. photo. So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you yeah. know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just oh really think... She's so annoying. I want to try and get all the optional photos, because I actually really like these. Only question is what ending do we go for, because I don't know, and I kind of, we'll see. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, but I want to Oh, why does it, I feel like this camera's going too weird. Give me a sec. Oh, turn that shit off. Putting yourself out there in the world, now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Okay, let's go. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you Welcome look. to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jenny's class. What's the point of even coming to class? Everybody to see how hip she is. Yeah, just, she she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. So did you guys know Until Dawn is getting remastered? <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> First, Life is Strange remastered. God, the silence. Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah. I know you didn't forget you owe a check. I forgot for a while. For making sure no one passed it out. Okay, well, I'm not risking getting copyrighted, so you're just gonna Empty. have to Good. deal with silence. Nobody so. can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door I'm closes, sorry. a window opens. Or something like that. I hear Victoria Chase. Join the club. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I know people don't consider the comics of this like canon to the story, but I'm like, if they're the closest thing to continuing the story we're gonna get, I choose to believe them, that's all I'm saying. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> don't stress, you, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. 
Hmm. <laughs> so what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, <laughs> not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? <laughs> I love when she breaks her Why camera and fucking just no because one notices. <laughs> Heroes, probably. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, human time machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. Go, Victoria. Why when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class, and I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces. Now, Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even Excuse me, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. 
I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. <laughs> the fact she still does this, uh, like, yeah, little picture thing. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd have one. <laughs> Given yourself the so output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have- Excuse me. Let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here because it sucks. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh, that is how you faster. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I need a I hammer to break it open! But people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. Dude, that run. did not I happen. Gun, really. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. <laughs> or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, bye. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Mm, or have you done consistent. something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. <laughs> don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I don't I may have care. just flushed my scholarship. 
I don't care. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, we're, we're gonna find out, unfortunately. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Nope. Do not rewind that. I didn't mean to click that. It's gonna... Fuck my life. Grant. That Excuse was accidental. Me, sure. Dave. That's. It's a. <laughs> Black will. I was good. Shit. Black. You should learn. Now before I. Ab okay. Wrong button. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. We are not in a rush. Why is that so tiny? I could barely see that. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. <laughs> Her fucking face. <laughs> Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate work shit. Oh, check <laughs> it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to see who we can talk to because I want to talk to all the people. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. 
Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Oh, sweet. I'd Come be on. honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute, Muse. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder if Chloe sees her like that. Oh, that's a good posture. My girl. Good. Good. Best oh, portrait ever. that's cool. I wonder how. Okay, let's see. Got a couple others here. So we can talk to Briggs apparently flying a drone. And I have no idea where she is. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't like us. Ugh, still and all this all. Who hate us? Oh, there is Brooke. We just run right into her. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This Drones. is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Yeah, see, she does not like us. I'm sorry, what? Search the back? Why the fuck would I search the back? What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Okay, well, obviously, I didn't know you were gonna, like, not really search the back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You wanna fly my drone? That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? Because I'm I love cheating. aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh my god. This is so weird. I hate it. How do I do this? Or do I just not do it and just let it happen? Oh my god. I think I just figured out how to do it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrifying. That was horrible. That was horrible. I realized too late I could control it with the actual fucking controller. I was terrifying. <laughs> I was terrified of like just crashing that, honestly. Okay. Where the fuck do we go? Because I can't remember. Come 
Come on, Logan, bring it like, on. right as I was about to crash, I'm just like, oh wait, this is how I do this. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No! Don't they at some point hurt Alyssa with a ball? Or is that when we leave? Right, I guess he's not gonna get hit just yet. Awesome. Awesome. No, I feel pretty confident. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, oh, the selfie girl of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Okay, well, if Samuel was okay, there, let's see if would... this works. If you were better, Samuel, you would just ignore us. But now. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. 
It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a comment that never put your posse are you? Uh, okay. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Just I am sorry. Just that's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick no. the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. No. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. <laughs> no, it's funny. That was <laughs> mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Nice. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Well, we played her enough by splashing paint on her and it was pretty funny. <laughs> She just doesn't need to know that it was us. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. I know, I just feel bad for her. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Nice. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Blah, 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 don't care, don't care. Stell, stell, spectacularly. Do not give a shit. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Great. So now I have to be inconvenienced. <laughs> Out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Girl drama. Let's go find out. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. <laughs> I've locked Dana yeah, in the room the because we're cool. You open up. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How this did you find out? Really familiar. Uh, why is it, do you is care? It just because, why is it are you even asking me? You never talk. talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? That fucking voice line. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to what? Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. <sighs>
Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. You know what I must well do? Less sound effect when you get like the the section of consequences. Like where the fuck is that? Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are, and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Oh, the lighting changes are excruciating. It's like the only... Almost Sorry. done. My bad. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Nearly murdered Max there. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. God, imagine a fucking Brooks. I was well, Max, doing shit like that's that. mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better. Oh, what is this brightness? Mm -hmm. What is gamma? Is it bad that I, I don't know that? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, well, we'll just deal with Shay Light and it's fine. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Oh, this is weird. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... Was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. God, Warren, I am fucking going. Calm the fuck down. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Everyone says to Max. <laughs> She's hilarious already. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm Are doing my sure? job. No, you're not. I'm doing my you're job. You're part of the problem, sure. Missy. I will remember this conversation. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero. I don't care. I don't care, Max. Carrie, no care. No fucking care. Stand up for Kate. She needs it, like, more than ever. And I feel really bad for her. This is really fun. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. Hmm. On the one hand, I kind of want to know how these minor decisions go. On the other hand, I'm kind of... Not scared. Actually, yeah, scared. Let's go with scared. I don't... Eh. But I don't really care. Because I know who the fuck this is. Ugh, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Of course. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. <laughs> Not in the mood today. By the God, way, I, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. 
How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. <laughs> oh God. Good. Did it, did you need a sensitive her. woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Yeah, Brooke can have you. I don't want to speak can have it. you. I don't fucking this care. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Yeah, Jefferson's well, class today. I'm hardly listening because I mean, I'm life changing so badly. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Ah, oh, motherfucker. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies. I'm one Why of the do you have an issue with me? What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. And how did you know best I tell was me this? what you saw now? Answer what are you me, talking bitch. about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do mm. not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Thank in the you. bathroom! <gasps> <laughs> Fucking headbutts always can't be the same stupid. Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, oh, I got this! Get it, Max! <laughs> Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That was funny as hell. Go, I got this. Proceeds to get his ass punched. <laughs> Warren, you are so fucking stupid. Oh my god. That was... That was hilarious. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. I'm yes, it's been it that there. kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a <laughs> smartass. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Mm. That was really shit, actually. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. That was the wrong know? thing to say. You weren't say. even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. And how'd that work out I for totally would have contacted you. And you, you don't use these have. sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Nah, no, don't worry. We'll get there. Broken. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. 
Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Oh, you think? It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. And give me a sec. There's relevant information, so. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. When she cared. God, you are very sniffy. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Liar. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Maybe she got Unlike murdered. you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Oh, she I did. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Sorry, did I make you feel? Sorry. Okay, I'll put the music on. You enjoy listening to absolutely nothing.
Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. I don't know if I call them sweet, but uh, okay. Okay, girly. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. The price is not right. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Eh. Uh. I mean, I like the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of development. I haven't seen this place in five years. I should be able to find the tools I need here. <laughs> I haven't seen this place in five years. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? <sighs> You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? My guess would be no. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. You, I really hoped you were being sarcastic there, but oh my God. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Stone. Hmm. So, oh, maybe here. The tools might be in this cupboard. Hmm. I want to find all the things. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird.
Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. I love how it's just like you could literally just crouch and get them. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Okay. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. <laughs> now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Oh. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. 
<laughs> oh yeah, well done. It's just total silence, Chloe. Great job. This song fucking rules. <laughs> Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, yes, let's turn off the silence. Dude, the music's not even on. <laughs> Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not... Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah. Combat, we'll do that to you. Combat, we'll do that to you. <laughs> Sorry. One of my guns is missing. Yeah, we know. Did you take it? Oh, of God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? <laughs> God, our context is like a goddamn horror game. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't well, like strangers well, in my home. Well. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. See that? It's like it's sarcastic. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you <laughs> believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? No. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. <laughs> Why anyway, so let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Oh my god. That was... Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. She says I have to think about my own future. <laughs> she says that she's climbing out the fucking window. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. 
This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I got you. Nice. Okay, one more. One more. Just back up. Oh yeah, dude, it's like a smack down. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh, I fucking love this view. I love this, I love it. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really <laughs> took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. It 
If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. It's a funny story. Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had this same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 